What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Manager Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we've been talking about doing this show for some time now, and that is discussing the action movie problem. What is that problem? The problem is that, for me anyway, Brian, is that there is nothing new to go. There have been some instances blue eye samurai i mean you could also say mission impossible has been some but there have been very few brian in terms of excitement and quite honestly brian believability and in that it, being immersed in that world and believing that what you, not necessarily obviously this is a movie but enjoying what you're seeing and not necessarily thinking this is a, this is a movie but a great performance um, your thoughts, Brian, on the the action movie problem? Well, let's let's blow this up and why we're having this discussion and how it ties back to our genre. So, why I kind of re reached out to Pablo about this idea was the failure of Argyle, uh, the spectacular box office failure of Argyle, uh, directed by a guy in Matthew Vaughn who's had success before. But the reasons I think Argyle failed, and then things that we're highly anticipating. Especially, you know, I was thinking about Deadpool 3 and Superman Legacy in particular. And it kind of just got me thinking about like the state of action movies right now or movies that have action like superhero movies. And how did we get here? Where are we at? And why? If you really rack your brain and start to think through your head and say, how many great, great action movies have I seen over the last, take it 10 years? I think that think list that, is going to run out real fast if you're really being honest with yourself. Years? Right? Okay. So it's like, not, a, not in your lifetime, right? Because there's eras, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 it was yeah. like Predator, right? It's like Rambo. It's it's the Die Hard, right? There's yeah, an yeah. era there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you think about like the Matrix comes along. And for a while, we're all copying that. It's Hong Kong wire work. It's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That style of action, that highly sort of martial arts bullet time that becomes a thing. So we're talking about 2014 to now. So we're really talking about in the last 10 years, how many truly great action movies or movie franchises, like experiences, can you think of that you've had? And like, I think the list is pretty short. They're gonna yeah. be pretty different types. So like, the, yeah. here's what I came up with. You tell me what you think, and then I'll get to the ones that are not working. So. 10 years, I think is significant. Why? Because 10 years also, the starting point is not arbitrary. Captain America Winter Soldier is 10 years old. So that to me is sort of like, yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. automatically on the list as the best superhero action movie we've got, period. I don't want to hear any other yeah, yeah. That's it. So we've had that. Um, 10 years would actually miss the raid, unfortunately, although I kind of would probably squeeze that in, the raid and raid two. Um, it would include Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, and Fallout, which I, those two together to was me amazing, yeah. are that that would be on the list for sure. Uh, Ten years would also include John Wick Two, which I think yes. is the best John Wick movie of the four. But if you want to use John Wick the World, that's fine. But I I would say John Wick Two, um, Taka Maverick. Obviously, that's a different kind of action, but that's certainly you know kind of if you want to say visual vehicular type action that's on the list when did john wick the first one come out john wick the first one is 2012 john wick 2 uh, is 2014 that's but i okay. think 2 is the one that blows up the world and the action becomes more stylized yeah, versus yeah, yeah. one i like and, one but go ahead and then i would probably say you the only other live action one that i could think of that really gripped people was Extraction um, on Netflix when that hit. Yeah. The I think that's one that got people's attention. Um, after that, now I think you're into animated, right? So now Blue Eyes Samurai, like some of the stuff you talk about, that's going to be on the list, but it's like, do you consider it the same if it's not live action? I probably yeah. don't if I'm being quite yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your honor will mention maybe, you know, Deadpool 1 probably would be in the honorable <laughs> mention category here. Yes. And then I probably would say maybe Kingsman one, which is Matthew, where Matthew Vaughn came from. That's probably the other one that I, but these are like, 
I don't think everyone would have these on the list. Point is, I'm not even at 10. I'm not even yeah. at one a year. Yeah. And I'm reaching. Like some of these are not clear cut choices. And there's some, I'm sure that people are going to throw some non US ones like that I haven't seen and I'm not as familiar with. And that, that's my fault. But I mean, I mean, would you consider James, uh, James Bond? But tw 10 years is after Skyfall. And Sky wow. Skyfall is 2012. So to me, like, it's not it. Right? So, like, we're, we're, I would not put No Time to Die. And I would not put Spectre on no. my list of like all time action movies. No, no, no. So, this is what I mean. What we've, but what we've gotten a lot of silly action. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, oh, yeah. It's part, it is part Quentin Tarantino soundtrack. It is part goofy CGI, and it's like over the top violence that somehow becomes humorous. So you've seen it. Argyle's full of it. Bullet Train, Gray Man, this upcoming movie, The Fall Guy. What Fast and Furious turned into. Oh my goodness. That's what action has become, and you're seeing the audience reject <sighs> this over and over again now. This is why I'm asking the question as we head toward Deadpool 3 and Superman Legacy, where honestly, you've got directors in a style that have been a little bit of silly action, like done well, Deadpool 1, yeah, the style yeah. of action is kind of like that. And James Gunn has done silly action, like in yeah, the Suicide yeah. Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy and done it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. I'm submitting that the audience is done with it, man. Yeah, the audience yeah, don't yeah. want to see that anymore. And we just saw a trailer for this Borderlands, which is a video game adaptation. It's the same thing. Yeah. I apologize. One other action movie that is is would make this list and the 10-year mark, Mad Max Fury Upgrade. Road. Mad oh, Max yeah, Fury yeah. Road. You like Upgrade? I really like Upgrade, but I just don't think it's big enough to be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. really like Upgrade. I think yeah, it's very yeah, original. Yeah, yeah. I love the yes, fighting part. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but it's it's like small. Yeah, yeah, it's small. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Not still not a 10. I think we're at like eight or nine with, with yeah. even including yes. Mad <laughs> Fury Road. <laughs> If you could, on the Cowboy says we will give us your, as many as you possibly can, and we'll go through it, me and right. you, Brian. Great. Not good, the, not okay. We'll pick up the ones. Yeah, that have to be great. I think most of the ones that I gave you up front, we're still going to be talking about 20, 30, 40 years from now. Yeah. Like, we're still going to be talking about Winter Soldier. We're still going to be talking about Mission Impossible Fallout. We're still going to be talking about Top Gun Maverick. See, these movies are going to join the library that has Die Hard, uh, and the Matrix and those type of and Terminator Two and those type of movies in it, um, but I'm just still, still trying to think of more movies, man. right? But the action movies you're generally getting are not good, and the audiences are just saying no. Yeah, and so I bring this subject up because we need big hits from movies that are going to have a lot of action, like Deadpool Three, Superman Legacy, and quite honestly, any other Marvel DC project you want to put into that. Yeah, Superman Legacy for me veers on the spectacular. And that's what it needs to be in terms of what Superman is capable of doing, how he does it, his ingenuity, and in terms of how he does it, I don't know. But they have to be spectacular moments. We saw a little bit of that in Superman Returns, which I liked. So I was gonna, if I broke this into categories of what is actually working, and then I try to, to your point, where does Superman Legacy fit into this? It's interesting, right? Because if you say John Wick Extraction, there's still that's the intense, gritty, like really in tight style of action. That doesn't strike mm -hmm. me as a Superman movie. Yeah. That doesn't seem applicable. Then there's the like truly brutal but visually brilliant, something like a blue eye samurai, albeit being animated, or like I said, the raid, which is outside of ten years. I don't I don't know that. Maybe that's Superman, but that seems pretty closer to R-rated Superman than what they're going to make, which is PG-13 Superman. And, and, let me, and let me be clear of why I mentioned Blue Eyes Samurai, because I've said this before to many people who I've recommended this show to, and we're not talking about shows, we're talking about movies, Movie. but, it's but, great. but, but yeah. when I talk about Blue Eyes Samurai, is those moments where you're like genuinely excited for what you, the action that you're seeing. That's what I mean. That feeling, we don't haven't seen that in the theaters. We haven't experienced it as much as we have 
watching shows that you know because we can there's a there's a bunch of shows you can be like oh that was dope there's a bunch of them but movies what we pay to go see and get excited about there hasn't been much of it and like you said all, when i saw the the, the trailer for all well, i'm new yeah and the fact that no one showed up even for opening weekend tells you and the way that the critics savage this movie because quite honestly like this is not the worst action movie ever made but it is being treated like that, which tells me what the state of what the mindset of the audience is. Your point on Blue Eye Samurai, the Blue Eye Samurai is a love letter to some of the great action movies in history. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. The Kill Bill homage is in there. Yes. The Rambo homage is in there. The yes. Matrix homage is in there. Like if you look yes. at the individual sequences and the way they are drawn and choreographed, this is a nod to classic action. It's just done in a way that feels inventive. If Superman doesn't fit into intense, gritty action, doesn't fit into brutal, brilliantly staged action, and doesn't have a built-in brand, even though it's Superman, it doesn't have, you know, Mission Impossible on big screen, you know, John Wick on big screen now, Deadpool, honestly, probably on big screen. They kind of have more of a built-in brand than a new Superman movie. The one category is you have to be visually inventive, which is the way Top Gun Maverick, quite honestly. I mean, yeah, there was some built-in brand there, yeah, 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 but when you yeah. saw what they were capable of with the planes today and some of the scenes, you know, and there's, and like I said, Mission Impossible would fit visually inventive as well. I think Blue Eye Samurai yeah. is animated, but would fit. That's where Superman Legacy being filmed on IMAX, to me, that's what has to work. You yeah. have to experience something aerial and something about the deployment of his powers that you've never felt before. Because you, you, Superman Returns is a great point because as, as mediocre as that movie is overall, it has three or four like really rewatchable scenes. Yeah. Him saving the plane, him on the rooftop taking all that fire, him saving the city. These are pretty cool Superman sequences. This has to blow that away. And like, I don't yeah. like, Man of Steel to me, like the flight scene is actually the pinnacle of Man of Steel. His first Sorry, flight, man. that's it. Yeah. It's not yeah. his fights. See, that's nah. the thing, like him fighting Zod is not the pinnacle of action in that movie. To me, it's him flying for the first time. That's it. But Deadpool's in the same thing because Deadpool is this kind of action. Can Deadpool 3, just because it's Deadpool, is it enough for it to do Deadpool things on screen and people to love it again? Or does it have to find a new angle on this kind of what I'm calling silly action to make people really buy it? It's going to be a battle between him his counterparts in this movie and how he, uh, he and to me, Ryan Reynolds seems to have good chemistry with many people. So I think that's what you're banking on. The action sequence is certainly Brian. We've only seen what Deadpool can do. Let's see what everybody else can do. I think there's going to be a surprise for, again, <clears throat> this is going to be hopefully a circus in a good way. Right? Uh, so the action sequences, let's see what he's going to do or what he does that we haven't seen already in the first two. So what you're saying is you might need an epic Wolverine fighting style or scene or two to really kind of get people to feel like this is new and different. Yeah, Wolver I mean, with Wolverine, because Wolverine as a fighter hasn't been that great. Well, I was just about to ask you, what is... What is Hugh Jack like? If you what is Hugh Jackman's current most memorable fighting scene in uh, Days of Future Past? Outside of that, I don't, I don't, I just don't see anything else that he's okay. looked like he was capable of. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Everything, everything else is yeah. more slashing and stuff like that. Yeah, because I was gonna say, like, is it the scene at X two where he's defending the mansion? Is that? I'm just trying to think, like, when has he gotten closest to? That was a pretty cool scene. Pure comic Wolverine. What the essence of it? Because like I don't think he definitely didn't do it in X Men Origins. He didn't do it in the. Logan? I don't think he, see in Logan he does it, but he doesn't look. It is, he doesn't. He doesn't really look like Wolverine anymore, and I do think that matters. Yeah. He does do it because he pumps himself full of things for one last yeah, fight. Yeah, but yeah. the fact that he's going to be wearing the costume this time, and he's now integrated into Deadpool's world, I, I'm wondering if that's the ticket. If they can <laughs> so, crack that in a way that hasn't been done, and you're like, this is it. This is Hugh Jackman's, like his his, his Yes, 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 absolutely. It has to be. 
Wolverine fight scenes can't be regular fight scenes. He has to be very inventive in terms of how he uses his ability in his fight. In his fighting, certainly he's going to take damage. Certainly, I, I, I don't want to see, but I won't walk out, but I'll, I'll just shake my head. If I see it, they shoot him and he, and he, and, and, and you see the, the thing and people looking at it, I, I just can't see that anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. You've seen it in almost everything that he's, you know what I'm saying? I'm done. So there has to be more to uh, what we've already seen, but it will be interesting. It'll be interesting for everyone in there, Brian. It'll be interesting to see what Storm does. Oh, can't be, what? Well, whoever is there, I need to see something <laughs> dope. It is the point, Brian, to get everybody there, for them dudes to stand around there and do nothing will remind me of Street Fighter. <laughs> that, that is not in the action pantheon, let me tell you. <laughs> M. Bison on his wires, and Ralph Ju Raul Julia on his wires is not, not, not what we're talking about here. <laughs> to me, these two movies have been set up as Deadpool 3 needs to save the MCU or change the game. And we know Superman Legacy, everything is riding on the DC. And that's yeah. why I submit these two projects alongside this problem to say... If they can't solve that, I don't know that either one of them is really going to land. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Well, I'll say this, and, and then we'll sign off, and I'll, I'll like to hear your comments. By the first Superman and Superman 2, we can't look back and say that what caught our attention. Sure, the, the, the set pieces and the, uh, uh, of how they were able to do that were dope, but it was the chemistry. It was the performances of those individuals. Certainly, I'm looking forward to Superman Legacy to have some spectacular sequences of action, but I'm also looking for that chemistry between him totally. and Lois Lane and, and, and Lex Luthor and whomever is a character. I, I want to, you know, I want to see what those performances will be like. So it'll be a, a combination of, of the two, uh, but uh, I think one cannot work without the other. So maybe the better way to put it is with the action movie problem we're presenting, these two movies need to make sure that we aren't bored during the fight scenes, that we aren't checking our watch to see when are we getting back to our charismatic characters talking again? Maybe that's the yeah, better way to yeah, think yeah, about it. Can they get yeah, these yeah, action yeah. set pieces to add to the narrative for these characters? You know what I want to see, what I want to feel, Brian? If you guys saw Gladiator in the theaters that feeling between them chanting Maximus that first time when he leaves the ring and that what's the next scene right after the, the, the scene that right after that when they're done chanting his name is Commodus in his in his lair and that that silence that moment of silence that we get to recover from what we just saw that's where we need to get Brian us wanting more so basically what you're saying is that's what I need to get that's what they need to get us to man because these action sequences if they're like okay there's the action sequence now you know what I'm saying like you just said we can't be checking our watches. So yeah. if, if I start hearing a, a Tarantino type song and I start seeing some super slow-mo with some great, you know, with some smiles uh, and some yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, out, I'm yeah, out yeah, for either yeah. of these projects. The show goes on! Yeah!